The Badgers are moving on from Paul Christ after the University of Wisconsin's athletic director announced the head coach's firing. What's next for the program? Also, cleanup is underway in parts of Florida where Hurricane Ian left massive destruction in its wake. This is News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. A surprising announcement from the Badgers last night. Football head coach Paul Christ was fired. In a statement, Wisconsin Athletic Director Chris McIntosh said, in part, after a heartfelt conversation with Christ, I have concluded now is the time for a change in leadership. Chris joined the Badgers before the 2015 season and led the team to seven straight bowl games with six wins and won the Big Ten West three times. This season, the team has had a rough start after an upset from Washington State and two blowout losses to Ohio State and Illinois, placing the team near the bottom of the conference standings. Defensive coordinator Jim Leonard will serve as interim head coach for the rest of the season. During a press conference yesterday, Leonard acknowledged it was an emotional day for the team. Some Badgers and other university members shared their thoughts over Twitter. Sophomore running back Braylon Allen tweeted, anyone who wants Coach Chris gone isn't part of this team. Overnight, junior outside linebacker Nick Herbig tweet, tweeted a tribute to Chris, dedicating the rest of this season to him. Some former Badgers responded to the firing overnight as well. Former Badger defensive back Madison Cohen says he is super thankful for Chris and everything he's done. And former fullback Alec Ingold simply tweeted a broken heart with Chris's initials. Jury selection has begun for the trial of Darrell Brooks. Brooks is accused of driving his SUV into a crowd during a Christmas parade in Waukesha last year. Six people were killed and dozens more were injured. Last week, a Waukesha County judge ruled that Brooks can represent himself in the trial. Jury selection could take at least three days to complete. Let's head to the Weather Center now. Meteorologist Chris Reese joins us. I'll look at our certified most accurate forecast. A chilly start to the day. It is. It is. But I'll tell you what, Mark, I'm actually a big fan of this shot right here. So this is our station tower camera. You're looking out and you're seeing the colors start to change. More yellows. You've got a couple oranges, some reds. So this is looking down Raymond Road. You've also got uh, Gammon and McKenna right here. And just the colors. Beautiful. We're at that time of the year. We're starting to see more of it. 63 is our temperature right now, so we have made it into the 60s. Jane Zill, you're at 64, 65, and Bosca Bell right now. You zoom things out, and that's where you start to see more of that sunshine. We're going to be warming up towards 67 for your highs later on this afternoon. So a good day overall. Doppler track, still quiet for us, but there are some showers back towards the west. That will be a part of the next system that is set to come our way and it will bring in winds of change, Mark. So October will soon be in full swing. I'm liking this, this weather though, this is perfect. I know we all are, but you know what must happen time and time <laughs> again. We do it every single year at the same time of the year and Absolutely. believe it or not, within 30 days, we'll probably see our first flurries too. Oh, good. I'll enjoy today. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Chris. As the death toll in Florida from Hurricane Ian continues to rise, residents are beginning cleanup efforts in Fort Myers where they're still coming to terms with the destruction. Officials say at least 82 people were killed in the storm, and that number is expected to rise. Hundreds of thousands are stuck without power, and fuel and water remain in short supply. With Central Florida still flooding, a voluntary evacuation is underway in St. Cloud where rising water levels continue to pose a threat. The Supreme Court's new term began today with Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson participating in the day's arguments for the first time. This is a first for the court as well as the there's never been a black female justice seated on it before. This term the court will hear cases regarding environmental laws, affirmative action, voting laws and LGBTQ rights. After last term's dramatic shift to the right, the court is expected to face heavy scrutiny from the public with its most recent disapproval ratings at historic highs. The Centers for Disease, Disease Control and Prevention calling on parents and doctors to be on the lookout for a rise in a respiratory disease that's linked to a rare paralyzing condition. With a rise in visits to the emergency room among the young people over the summer due to respiratory issues, the CDC is alerting the public to watch out for a virus called D68. Parents are encouraged to look for drooping eyelids, numbness and tingling in limbs, and the loss of muscle tone as indicators of the virus. There's more to come on News 3 Now at Noon. Which, which films are topping the weekend box office? Details coming up in the Money Watch Report.
You're watching News 3 Now at noon. If your kitchen looks stuck in the past, then bring it up to date with one call to Mad City Kitchens, Wisconsin's number one remodeler and trusted local source for kitchen cabinet refacing. Durable, stain-resistant door and drawer fronts in colors like Cascade White, Chocolate Pear, and Dust Gray with available soft-closed doors and drawers. We install in as little as two days so you avoid a lengthy remodel and it's affordable during our rake in the fall savings event. Save $750 with interest free financing for 12 months and get a $25 restaurant.com gift card with estimate. But call during this program and double your savings. Save $1,500 on a cabinet refacing project. 24 months interest free financing and double it to a $50 restaurant.com gift card with your free estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608 298 5383. That's 608 298 5383. Lean back and save at the Century House. Right now, buy stressless recliners, sofas, or office chairs and get up to $1,500 credit towards the purchase of more. Or save $400 on stressless signature base recliners and ottomans and motorized classic power recliners. Don't wait. Take the opportunity to fill your home with stressless comfort for less. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. The radical left hate America and riot in our streets. They indoctrinate our children to hate America, stoking fear and envy with their lies and deceptions. Their radical woke agenda and divisive politics are tearing our country apart. Here's Mandela Barnes. Does the founder of this nation awful? Mandela Barnes is a radical leftist. He supports their woke agenda that's causing you and your family so much pain. I'm Ron Johnson and I approve this message. Habitat families build their own homes alongside volunteers, pay an affordable mortgage, and are grateful for your help. With safe and permanent housing, Dane County families can invest more in their health, education, community, and beyond. Please donate or volunteer today. It's dangerous up here, and it's no fun shopping around for a reputable contractor. I've built my company on the promise to treat our customers like we would our own family. That means an honest, no-pressure sales experience, expert craftsmanship, and a lifetime guarantee of our work. We know Gutter Shutter is the best system for you and your home, and we'd love to show you how it can keep you safe and off that ladder forever. So call us or visit us online to set up your free estimate, and we can show you what Gutter Shutter and the Larson Home Experience is all about. Drivers have been enjoying a welcome break from recent record gasoline prices, but there is concern that the OPEC plus oil producing nations are considering cutting output by more than a million barrels a day when they meet this week in the United Arab Emirates. That would be aimed at lifting petroleum prices and could affect what Americans pay at the gas pump. Tesla says it sold a record number of electric vehicles in its third fiscal quarter. The company sold nearly 344,000 cars despite production and supply chain issues. Its sales figures rose 42% from the same period last year. Tesla said, though, it's becoming harder to transport new cars at a reasonable cost when orders peak. At the weekend box office, Paramount's smile topped the charts with an estimated $22 million in ticket sales in North America. The horror movie about a therapist terrorized by frightening events she can't explain cost only $17 million to produce. Paramount is the parent company of CBS. Second place at the box office went to Don't Worry Darling in its second weekend in theaters. The psychological thriller starring Florence Pugh and Harry Styles took in over $7 million in sales. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Wendy Gillette. Let's take a look at Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrial is up 602 points. The Nasdaq up 152. The S&P 500 up nearly 68. Our call for action volunteers are in the building taking your consumer complaints and taking action on your behalf. You're taking a live look at the Call for Action studio. Volunteers are here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can call for action right now at 608-270-2833 or submit a claim anytime at channel3000.com slash call for action. Pam has today's egg prices next, and Chris has the latest for you.
If you've been injured in a motorcycle accident, call now. If you're a rider, that is the reason you hire Hupe and Abraham. They know motorcycles inside and out. It's just a no-brainer. Tell the insurance company you mean business. If it's time for a kitchen update, don't replace, reface. Call the experts at Mad City Kitchens. Cabinet refacing gives your kitchen a brand new look in as little as two days, backed with a lifetime warranty. It's definitely going to improve the value of our home. They did a good job. They're professionals. You can trust what they say. If they say they're going to come on a certain day at a certain time, you know, they do it. It's our Rake in the Fall Savings Event. Save $750 with interest-free financing for 12 months and get a $25 Restaurant.com gift card with estimate. But call during this program and double your savings. Save $1,500 on a cabinet refacing project, 24 months interest-free financing, and double it to a $50 Restaurant.com gift card with your free in-home estimate. From Madison, throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-298-5383. That's 608-298-5383. This is Connie Ryan of Ryan Funeral Homes. While things have changed, it's still necessary for families to stay connected. And when it comes to the loss of a loved one, it's important to process and grieve and honor your loved one in a way that keeps everyone safe. We're doing this through intimate services and private virtual streaming so your family can be part of the service no matter where they are. Ryan Funeral Homes are here with your safety in mind and compassion and care in your time of need. Careless drivers cause serious injuries. I was driving along on my motorcycle and somebody pulled out right in front of me. I was glad I called Hupe and Abraham. They got me way more than I expected. Tell the insurance company you mean business. Monday morning live reports on the happenings at the World Dairy Expo for you and your family, plus the traffic impacts to downtown Madison. Plus it's another week that features yet another big cool down. I'll tell you how cold and when. Monday from 4.30 to 7. Look how lit my audience gets. You know you want to be a part of this. Please welcome Howie Mendel. Wow, you were a little off. <laughs> On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Let's check in now with Pam Yankee from the Midwest Farm Report as we start another week. Yep, busy week. Going to be a busy week for a lot of folks that are involved in Wisconsin's dairy industry and a lot of volunteers right around the Dane County area. Today, uh, World Dairy Expo is underway with some cattle judging out at the Alliant Energy Center grounds. Tomorrow's the beginning of the show officially with the trade activity going on in the Alliant Energy Center as well as the Coliseum. So please plan accordingly if you're going to be driving around. I'll be out at World Dairy Expo starting bright and shiny tomorrow morning so you can follow me on Facebook, Fabulous Farm Babe, or check out MidwestFarmReport.com for details on where I'll be and working with who. Over the weekend, they had the Youth Fitting Contest at World Dairy Expo, brought in 78 kids from across the United States, 12 different states, as well as Denmark and Canada. Uh, congratulations to some of our Wisconsin kids that did very well. Ellie Larson from Evansville, second in the intermediate female category. We had Matthew Winch from Fenimore that was third in intermediate male. Uh, senior female Brooke Hammond from Up by Barron took the top spot, spot there, and Brian McCullough from Judah came in fourth in the senior male judging division. So congratulations to all of them. Like we said, uh, one thing you want to remember when it comes to World Dairy Expo, download their mobile app, worlddairyexpo.com. This year they're pivoting to an entirely digital admission pass. Remember the cost for a daily admission is $15 for a season pass, $40. And this is going to be brand new, but given the fact that folks have gotten kind of used to uh, digital when it comes to travel or sporting events, hopefully things are going to go smoothly. But please do plan to have have that ready to go when the show officially begins tomorrow. Barrel cheese today in Chicago was up a penny at 221. 40 pound block cheese that gained three and a quarter cents, closed at two dollars even. Double A butter up another three and a quarter cents on a Monday to 317 and three quarters per pound. That's going to be a lot of the conversation starters for World Dairy Expo. And boy, I'll tell you, Mark, right now the weather looks pretty doggone favorable for big crowds. It really does. All right, Pam, have a fun week. Thank you. As Pam mentioned, the World Dairy Expo does return to Madison this week, which means you have a chance to see cows from 
all over the country and the latest innovations in the dairy industry. The Dairy Cattle Show kicked off today at the Align Energy Center and tomorrow marks the start of the trade show. Dairy producers, organizations and enthusiasts gather every year for exhibits, contests and much more. For event organizers, they're excited to be back bringing the global dairy industry together. So we're expecting international visitors. We've got 650 companies in a trade show. We've got cow show action here on the Clark Shavings where we're standing. And yesterday, of course, we started with youth contests. The expo shifted its schedule this year, so it only runs until Friday. Daily admission is $15. Chris joins us now with the latest forecast. Perfect weather to hit up the Dairy Expo. It is fantastic weather out there today. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures are hanging out generally into the 60s. A little bit cooler closer towards the lake shore where your wind is still coming off the lake. But where you have that due southerly wind a little bit farther to the west, yeah, we're seeing some pretty uh, pretty good temperatures there. 65 for Boscobel and Prairie du Chien right now. Those are some of our warmer spots. We do sit at 63 right here in Madison. The air is dry. Dew points are into the mid-40s, and we keep our dew points pretty much there for quite some time. Check this out, though. We'll top out at 67 this afternoon. Then we move towards your overnight hours. Temperatures start to come down, but because our winds are out of the south, we don't see them drop all that much. In fact, overnight lows really don't get all that chilly. That being said, I'm taking you to Canada, and I'm taking you to Canada for a reason. Look at the core of this cold that's developing uh, along the northern side of Canada close to the North Pole. Watch that. It's on the move and it comes all the way down to the upper Midwest by the time we get you towards later this week. So a true cold Canadian cold front is on the way. Temperatures begin to moderate for the weekend, but it only sets the stage for another shot of colder air to start to work its way in from the north and west as we start to approach the middle and end of next week. So this first cold front is going to be on the way as a cooler air slides in behind it. It does get chilly, but I want to break down some of those details. We're talking highs in the 40s and 50s, lows near 30 and a freeze being possible. We are your first storm weather team. We want to make sure everyone hears that when a freeze is possible by the time we get you towards the weekend. That's the first storm there and of course we'll continue to keep a very close eye on that. 48 is going to be your high on Friday. You start to see the recovery, and then, of course, temperatures will be dropping after that as well. This is Doppler Track, still quiet for us overall. Some showers trying to show up. I talked about it this morning. We had a lot of drier air in place, and all of that's evaporating before it has the chance to even make it to the ground. So that's still what we're seeing. Clear skies for us, though, in southern Wisconsin. We will keep that sunshine around as everyone tops out to the 60s. Maybe a couple 70s as we go throughout today. Overnight tonight, it is the mid 40s for everyone. Tomorrow, we're a little bit warmer. Winds out of the south, maybe a little bit more cloud cover too. I expect more of those temperatures topping out into the 70s for a lot of us moving into tomorrow. So the Madison Metro, upper 60s for all of us, but we keep that sunshine around this afternoon. Cooling down into the 40s for all of us tonight. Mostly clear to partly cloudy. That's where we'll call it for your sky conditions. Then tomorrow, everyone has a shot at making it towards 70. Some of you might be just shy, but we all have the shot to make it to 70. As I say in Hamilton, don't throw away your shot. Let's get there. Let's enjoy our days in the 70s because it does get cooler. 70 on Wednesday, but 58 for Thursday. Can't rule out some showers Thursday. 48 on Friday, and again, I am watching the freeze potential Friday night and into Saturday. Stay tuned this week. Of course, we're going to keep you up to date with how you can stay ahead of that possible freeze and how you can prepare. All right, thanks for the heads up. Thank you, Chris. Well, Howard's in the Mr. Food Desk Kitchen now, who admits after finding the perfect one, he's now in love. Over the last couple of years, I've fallen in love with pretzel rolls. It only makes sense since I love pretzels and I love rolls. You know... You don't get a body like this by eating lettuce wraps. The problem is they're not always easy to find. So rather than searching for them or waiting until they happen to be back in stock, we came up with a shortcut way to make them that's super easy and amazingly good. We start by whacking a can of refrigerated biscuits on the counter. After separating them, we roll them into balls. Then we score the top of each ball with an X. You want to make sure you don't cut it too deep, though. Now, we simmer these in a pot of boiling water that we've added some baking soda to. You see, simmering these in the boiling water will give our rolls a pretzel-like crust. 
Then we place them on a baking sheet with the X up. Brush them with a beaten egg and sprinkle on some salt. Once they're baked, what we end up with is the most incredible fresh tasting roll ever. They're great as is or slathered with lots of butter. You can even use them to make a tasty Bavarian style sandwich. To get the recipe for our homemade pretzel rolls, all you have to do is visit our website. I know you'll be glad you did. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a better than store-bought way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm. Ahead of noon, Lisa Briggs from the Bruce yeah, Company is here answering your plant and garden questions. The number to call, 608-270-9933. We'll get to your calls right after this. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. The kitchen is the heart of most homes, so make it beautiful and inviting with cabinet refacing from Mad City Kitchens. With several styles and colors, including a variety of wood grains with scratch and stain resistant finishes. Add functionality with pull out shelving, lazy Susans, and everyone's favorite soft closed doors and drawers. Plus, avoid a lengthy remodel with installations in as little as two days. It's our Rake in the Fall Savings event. Save $750 with interest-free financing for 12 months and get a $25 restaurant.com gift card with estimate. But last chance to call during this program and double your savings. Save $1,500 on a cabinet refacing project, 24 months interest-free financing, and double it to a $50 restaurant.com gift card with your free estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-298-5383. That's 608-298-5383. I worked on the force for 30 years. I've seen plenty of politicians, but Mandela, he's the real deal. Mandela doesn't want to defund the police. He's very supportive of law enforcement, and I know his objective is to make every community in the state of Wisconsin better. I trust him to get the resources that we need to keep people safe and to reduce crime in the first place. As a retired cop, I want someone like Mandela. Mandela is the right guy for the job. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. Do you suffer from chronic or severe back or neck pain? Did you know that there is now a treatment method available right here at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center that offers hope of avoiding spinal surgery for those suffering with bulging, herniated, or degenerative discs? Our therapies help reduce pain related to these conditions and have a high success rate in helping people just like you avoid back or neck surgery. I have experienced low back pain for over 15 years. I had back surgery when I was 26 and had difficulties recovering. The doctors at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center have given me a new lease on life. I am now able to enjoy an active, pain-free lifestyle. Call Midwest Spine and Nerve Center now to schedule a no-obligation consultation to see if our progressive pain-relieving therapies are right for you. Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is here taking your plant and garden questions at 608-270-9933. Now, this is a pretty mum. Yes, yeah, so we, last week we were talking about the different kinds of mums. If you can put them outside and you can grow. put them outside. Some will be reliably perennial, some will not. This is a florist mum. They tend to have fancier flowers and bigger and they are not hardy outside. So this, so is, something to, deal. this is something to enjoy in your house. It'll bloom for a long time because they have lots of buds inside, but yes. Will it rebloom? Probably not. Not without a lot of sun, a lot of pinching, a lot of fertilizing. But they're really fun while they last. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. All right, let's get to the phones. We'll start with Paul in Sun Prairie. Hi, Paul, what's your question? Um, a week ago, uh, it was suggested that when you bring your uh, outside pots inside, you treat them mm -hmm. somehow so that there aren't bugs. Yeah. Uh, in the pots that you're bringing in the house. Yeah, what so is that? You want to use insecticidal soap, which is a spray product that will kill the bugs that are on your plant. So you just soak it down with that, let it drip dry, and then 
to combat anything, any eggs or larvae that are in the soil, you want to use a systemic and uh, bio advance, which used to be Bear Company makes a really good one, little capsule. You just put it in the pop it in the soil. Okay. Works like a charm. And, and make sure you do it. Make sure you do it, especially because it looks like it's going to be really cold this week. Yeah. So if you didn't get, bring them in now. Yeah, so far, bring them in now. All right. Kent in Janesville. Hi, Kent. What's your question? Uh, yeah, can we start trimming oak trees now? I would wait a little bit, Kent, until they're dormant, till the leaves fall off. They generally say like the 1st of April to the end of October is that period when you don't want to prune. So give it another few weeks. Okay. Let's go to Ed in Blue Mounds. Hi, Ed. What's your question? Yeah, we've got uh, nice ferns, but toward the end of summer or into the fall, they start getting a blight, rust color, and then they kind of die off, but they come back the next year. What's my problem? It might be, Ed, that you have a little, that it's a little bit sunny or it gets a little bit hot and dry when it gets later in the summer. So that might be affecting them. That would be my guess. Ferns like very moist soil and really good shade. And so if they're in a spot where they're getting a little bit of heat or drying out, that would make them look kind of ratty. But they come back. Yeah, these, but they these do are come on back. the, uh, these are on the north side of a mobile home and they don't get any sun at all and uh, they get all the rain that comes off the guy's roof. Right, but if that, in the summer, if the rain is sporadic, so I would just maybe make sure they get watered. Yeah. Okay. Every week or so. All right, let's go to Paula in Madison. Hi, Paula, what's your question? Yeah, my, uh, I have two shrubs, burning bush and a red-twigged variegated dogwood. Mm -hmm. I want to know when I can hard prune them. So, okay, so the variegated dogwood, what I would do is do what we call renewal pruning. So you're going to take, you can do it now or you can do it later, 30% of the stems all the way back to the ground, take the oldest ones. It's easy to see on a red twigged one because the, st the stems aren't as bright. On burning bush, they're really okay with pruning at any time. So if you're going to do a hard prune, though, I would wait until after it's dormant, so when the leaves fall off. Yeah, you want it in the fall when it's burning, right? Yes, yeah, you might as well get the burning <laughs> part of it out. Brenda in Sauk City, hi, what's your question? Hi, I have a question about Brussels sprouts. This is the first year I've tried to grow them, and they never produced a big Brussels sprout. They're small like blueberries. I know, Brussels sprouts are tricky. I hear a lot of people say that they are that they have trouble. One thing I would do is make sure that you do it, that you maybe start them really early. I don't know if you put them from starts or if you did from seed. If you did from seed, I would start them earlier. It just takes a long time and then there's a weather component in it that will get them to form the, the actual sprouts themselves. All right, quickly, Candy from Fitchburg. Hi, what's your question? Channel three. Candy, go ahead. It's me. They got me next. All right, Candy wanted to know how to get her Christmas cactus to bloom more often. Okay, so to get your Christmas cactus to bloom, you need to put it in a room where there's not artificial light at night. So a spare bedroom. Pitch dark. Pitch, yes, pitch dark. Not lights left on, like not your living room or dining room. And that is the best way to do it. Full sun during the day dark at night. Okay, we're out of time. Thank you all for calling in. Thanks for coming in. If you're on the line, stay there, Lisa. We'll talk to you off the air. Will do. Okay, here's Chris. One final check of the forecast. Enjoy the sunshine for the rest of today. So temperatures top out into the upper 60s. Very highs this afternoon. A little bit of cloud cover streaming in around Platteville, but that cloud cover uh, will burn off. It's just passing by. 70 tomorrow, 70 on Wednesday. A little bit more cloud cover for Wednesday. And then we do have those rain chances for your Thursday. But we get cooler. Be on the lookout for frost potential. Friday night into Saturday, Friday's high is only at 48 degrees. We'll stay cool into the weekend. Big change coming. Yes, Temporarily. It is. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you back here at 4 o'clock. In the meantime, have yourselves a great afternoon.